Now, the last concept of this topic. Now, last concept of this topic. That is, the graphical representation of cumulative frequency distribution. See, we know that in 9th standard, we have learned, we know very well that graphical representation is better than numerical data, okay? How? Because it helps us in understanding the data at a glance. Graphical way se data ko dekhna nahi padta hai. At a glance, we can understand the data. Hmm? We can get the comparative idea of the data. So we know that the graphical representation of data is better than numerical data as it helps us in understanding the data at a glance. In 9th standard, we we have represented data through bar chart, histogram and frequency polygon. But now in 10th standard we represent the uh, cumulative frequency distribution graphically and that there are two type of cumulative frequency distribution. One less than type and second is more than type. Two type of cumulative frequency distribution. And I can represent them we can represent them graphically and that graphical way of representing this graphically and that graph is called ojayu curve. Graph of this cumulative frequency distribution we call it as a ojayu curve. And two type of graph we are going to draw less than type and more than type of cumulative frequency distribution. Two type of cumulative frequency distribution. Less than type and more than type. And we can draw, uh, we can represent them graphically and that representation we call it as a ojayu curve, okay? For example, If daily income of 50 workers are given by the following data, following distribution. If daily income of 50 workers are given by the following distribution, here I write daily income, here I write number of workers, okay, that is Fi, and then I write third column cumulative frequency, clear? Now, you are given the classes in a form 100 to 120, 120 to 140, 140 to 160, 160 to 180 and 180 to 200. And 12 workers are having income between 100 to 120. 14 workers ka income hai 120 to 140 ke beech. 8 ka 140 to 166 6 ka, 160 to 180 and 10 ka, 180 to 200. Sigma Fi should come 50. Now I write cumulative frequency. First ka 12, second ka 12 plus 14, 26. 
प्लस एट थर्टी फोर प्लस सिक्स फोर्टी प्लस टेन फिफ्टी ठीक है आप लोगों को पूछा गया है कन्वर्ट दी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन टू लेस देन टाइप एंड मोर देन टाइप एंड ड्रॉ इट्स ओजाइ पर Do you understand the questions? We have to convert them in less than type and more than type, and then we have to draw their ogive curves. Here, we take limit on x-axis and cumulative frequency. On y axis, okay, with proper scale. Proper scale पे हम limit x axis पर लेंगे और cumulative frequency y axis पर लेंगे Then we draw smooth curve, and that smooth curve which we obtain, we call it as a ओजाइव कर सी लेस देन टाइप का बनाना है आपको सपोज यू वॉन्ट टू फॉर्म लेस देन टाइप डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन तो लेस देन टाइप में यू हैव टू स्टार्ट विथ अपर लिमिट लेस देन वन ट्वेंटी लेस देन वन फोर्टी लेस देन वन सिक्सटी लेस देन वन एटी लेस देन टू हंड्रेड एंड वेन यू वॉन्ट टू फॉर्म मोर देन टाइप ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन देन यू स्टार्ट विथ लोअर लिमिट मोर देन हंड्रेड मोर देन वन ट्वेंटी एंड लास्ट में मोर देन वन एटी लाइक दैट ओके आर यू क्लियर वॉट आई सेड फॉर लेस देन टाइप वी स्टार्ट विथ अपर लिमिट We start with upper limit, okay, and go on adding the frequency. हम शुरू करते हैं less than वन ट्वेंटी लेस देन वन ट्वेंटी कितने हैं बारह चुमलेटिव फ्रीक्वेंसीज Twelve. Then less than one forty. So its cumulative frequency will be twenty six. Twelve plus forty. Clear? Then less than one sixty. So its cumulative frequency will be twenty six plus eight. Thirty four. We go on adding. Okay. Then less than 180. तो 34 plus that 40. And last में less than 200 तो 50. क्या आएगा last में less than 200 तो 50. Okay? Less than 200 to 50. That complete your table. Now suppose आपको more than बनाना है हाँ more than type. तो उसमें as I said you start with lower limit क्या? Here we start with lower limit. Okay? And and for cumulative frequency we go on subtracting. Now 
we go on subtracting frequencies from total. Okay? I will tell you how to do it. More than type and cumulative frequency. I start with more than type में I start with lower limit more than hundred more than hundred मतलब पूरे का पूरे पचास more than one twenty तो fifty में से वो twelve minus कर दो तो thirty eight then more than one forty तो 38 में से 14 माइनस कर दो तो आएगा 24 देन मोर देन 160 तो 24 में से 8 माइनस कर दो क्या आएगा 16 और लास्ट में मोर देन 180 तो क्या आएगा 16 माइनस 6 सो 10 दिस इज योर मोर देन टाइप distribution okay suppose you want to get original distribution from more than or less than we start with lower limit so 100 to 120 or hum 50 minus 38 karenge तो 12 आएगा, clear? फिर 120 to 140, उल्टा सुल्टा दोनों सिखाया, तो 38 minus 24 आएगा, तो 14, फिर 140 to 160 लेंगे, तो 24 minus 16, तो 8, then 160 to 180 लेंगे, तो 16 minus 10, तो 6, and 180 to 200 लेंगे, so it is 10. Clear? It won't be cumulative frequency. It will be frequency. This is the original table you can form. From original, how to convert less than type? You are clear. From original, how to convert more than type? That also you are clear. And from less than type or more than type, how to come back to original? That also you are very much clear. Clear? Are you clear about more than type, less than type and simple? Now, let us draw the graph of Ojaib Kar. So, as we have told you, if you have to less than type Ojaib Kar draw, then you take the x coordinate of the name. Then you take, if you want to find out the, rub kar deti hu. Suppose, you want to draw, ojayu kar of, less than time. Then you take upper limit, on x axis, right? and cumulative frequency on y axis cumulative frequency on y axis with proper scale what scale I am going to take I will take here O 20 a, 1 centimeter 120 here I will write 140 I keep gap of 1 1 centimeter or 2 2 centimeter 180 and then 200 ok here I will write 10 is equal to 1 centimeter to 10 20 then 1 centimeter short ke 30 then 40 then 50 then 60 clear now for 120 my frequency is how much 120 per meri less than type mein frequency kya hai 12 then 26 120 pe 12 fir 140 pe 26 right 
देन 160 पे 34, देन 180 पे फोर्टी एंड देन 200 पे 50 क्लियर सो आई कैन ड्रॉ दी ग्राफ आई ज्वाइन देम स्मूथली दिस इज माई लेस देन टाइप ओजाइव करो के ना मोर देन में क्या लिखने हैं हम लोअर लिमिट लेंगे ऑन एक्स एक्स इज लोअर लिमिट विथ प्रॉपर्स के वाई एक्स इज क्यूमलेटिव फ्रिक्वेंसी लोअर लिमिट मतलब माई लोअर लिमिट इज हंड्रेड एंड इट्स हंड्रेड सो आई टेक दिस पॉइंट एज वेरी न्यूर टू ओ आई विल टेक हंड्रेड हंड्रेड का कितना फ्रिक्वेंसी है फिफ्टी क्लियर आई टेक टेक बिटवीन जीरो टू वन ट्वेंटी समवेर आई विल टेक हंड्रेड देन फॉर वन ट्वेंटी इट इज दिस पॉइंट क्लियर वॉट इज दिस वन ट्वेंटी पे उसका है थर्टी एट फिर ट्वेंटी फोर सिक्सटीन टेन फिर ट्वेंटी फोर देन सिक्सटीन एंड टेन सो आई ड्रॉ स्मूथली दिस ग्राफ इस ओके दिस इज माई मोर देन टाइप वॉट इज इट मोर देन टाइप ग्राफ द पॉइंट वेर द इंटरसेप्ट From that point, if I draw the x coordinate, the x coordinate of the point of intersection. of less than type and more than type ho jayu kar is the median my graph is not a fair graph still अगर आप डायरेक्ट मीडियम फॉर्मूला से निकालोगे तो डायरेक्ट मीडियम इज कमिंग 138.5 एंड माय सी माय इंटरसेक्शन इज आल्सो वेरी क्लोज टू वेरी क्लोज टू 138.5 क्लियर This is a rough graph. If you take a proper scale, okay, it is near to one thirty-eight point five. Because if we take median algebraically, we will get the data. So it is one twenty plus twenty-five minus twelve upon fourteen into twenty. If you calculate it, so it is coming. 138.5. So the x coordinate of the point of intersection of less than type and more than type of ojaiv curve is the median. Okay. Suppose only from less than type you want to find out median, then you take the n by 2. n by 2 is 25. So you take 25. Y coordinate 25. So you draw a line. Parallel to x-axis, it intersect your less than type or more than type of ojaiv curve. From there, you again draw a line parallel to y-axis. It intersect x-axis at some point. So the x-coordinate of that point, x-coordinate of the point whose y-coordinate is n by two, will be the median of the data. Okay? Are you clear?